Hey there folks, welcome back to my channel. It's Annie by Shirley here. I thought I'd come on and do another little autumn card. Um, and I'm going to be using these lovely sequin um, leaves that I got from Andrea. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I've got a bit of a base card going on here. I've got an insert because I'm going to start doing inserts in my cards because the amount of cards that I need to go back and put inserts in is ridiculous. So I'm going to just try and do um, inserts in them when I, while I make the card. So I've got this nice wood effect herringbone um, paper, which I don't know where that was. Oh, I think that's an old stamping up one, actually. Um, so I can either use this side or I could use that side not decided and then this sort of orangey red piece this is the set this is going to go inside I might rip these a bit and then I've got this um, very old um, punch from Stamping Up which is an umbrella so you got the umbrella the handle and a folded up umbrella so I have went ahead and cut all bits of it, three or four bits and I'm going to stack them I also got a stamp for that, which is a very old stamping up one too. Um, so you've got various stamps. And I thought what I'd do was I'd stack these up, I'd colour them in with Uhuhu pens, and then I'd put the leaves as if they're popping out the top of the umbrella and some up on the ground or something like that. So what I want to do is stamp one of these because there's a couple of umbrellas here because I want to stack them up like three times I think that will give me two umbrellas it will and then I'll stack up the handles as well and then we'll pop in colour them in and we'll pop in the leaves and make a card so I also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers thanks so much I hope you're enjoying being here and I hope you're enjoying seeing what I'm making. Um, it's lovely to have you here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp, move these along, these two pieces. I don't need that in a minute. So I've got my stamp already on my block. I'm using VersaFine um, pigment ink, which dries quite quickly. So that's the stamp. And I've just got to hover over and be very careful that I get it in the right place. But I have got other pieces that I can try if I don't. <laughs> so I probably should actually turn it round so there's nothing in the way of the block. So I'm just going to hover over and then press down. Hope that's in the right place. Yep, that'll do. So that just shows you a bit more definition of the umbrella. And the same on this one. Oh. Might be a bit off that one. Might have to do it again. Mm, that's not bad. Let's just go with that. So. While I wait, the reason I put them all on there was just to keep them all together. <laughs> so while I wait on that to kind of dry a bit, I can now colour in, well that one can go underneath, I can colour in two handles. So the handles would go up this way, just underneath like that. So I need to do them so let's pop those there and I'll just get some pe a pen so I'm going to just use um, a couple of the browns I'm going to use this one what is it terracotta and let's see burnt sienna let's just see so that's the two pens that I'm using E340 and E679 so I'm thinking just do it with the fine tip, I think, or maybe not, maybe the bigger tip is better. So let's just do it a wee bit darker here at the bottom. So 
and then maybe a slightly darker around that area and then I'll do the other one as well which is all the way up here come on other one so we'll just do the same thing really so we'll just do that there and then a wee bit of that there as well and then I'll take the terracotta one and do that just so it gives a wee bit of difference and it looks like there's a wee bit of um, shading there okay so that's those two done and then I can just pop I only need two so I'll take that one away because it's a bit scabby and then what we need to do now is actually I could just if I can find my tweezers I keep losing these tweezers nope there they are so let's pop this onto the other little bit hopefully this glue is going to come out today it didn't come out the other day oh there we go Oops, sorry. so I'll just pop <laughs> pop that on top of this one just like that marry them up don't get glue on it if you can help it there we go and then this one I'll just do the same oh, not too oh we've got one of Shirley hairs my hairs just get everywhere between the cat's hairs and my hairs <laughs> so funny um, right so we'll just pop that on the top of there like that and try not to get glue everywhere surely don't even think I've got a damp cloth. No, I've never, never dampened my cloth today. It wasn't so good. Just have to hope that oh, it's stuck to my finger now. Right, now I'm going to do my colouring in. So just, so I'm just going to colour in my umbrella. And I'm going to use, let me think, what will I use? Well, I have yellow umbrella, that would be quite nice, isn't it? Instead of yellow, so there's a couple of yellows here. So I've got, um, that one's upside down, so is that. I've got yellow, uh, lemon ye yellow and melon yellow. <laughs> Gosh, I couldn't get that out there. So what I want to do is just put a bit darker at the bottom I might do two different colours of um, um, uh, umbrella Let's see I'm just trying to because that will be down in the ground it's going to be a bit darker because there would always be a shadow at that kind of area so just yeah I think I'll do two different coloured umbrellas that one and then we'll go in here with this lighter lemon yellow <laughs> so just going over the color you've already done and then that just blends them in nicely like that so you can see the little bit of blending that's that I'll just pop these over as well just now and then let's do this one what color will we do that one um I could do it in a kind of green because you do still get greens in autumn let's see so i've got deep olive green and a bronze green so let's go for that so go for the darker what i think is darker i think it is darker it's just exactly the same, just having a wee bit near the bottom because 
think about it, it would be a bit darker near the bottom. Just up these middle bits there. I've not done that very neatly, have I? It's okay. And then this one here. And just to blend it in, just go straight over the top. It's a slightly different green, but that's okay. They will be blend in quite, quite well. There we go. There we go. And that's that done. So now what I need to do next is pop these to the side. Don't need that. So I can just stick that in a bin. What I need to do next is. So oh, that's my. So we. I'm just thinking of my insert as well. So if I pop that up, maybe if we pop them up twice. I can't get them up because of these nails. I mean, the nails are lovely, but they're so annoying. <laughs> and then if I actually stamp this again, or no, I don't do that. I'll just pop them up three times. So what I'm going to do for the inside, I was going to stick one of them in. But I've changed my mind. So for the inside, what I'll do, so I'll need the rest of the stamp set, which is nearby. There is. I had it. <laughs> I had it. Here it is. Here. So this is what you got in the set. I mean, this is very retired. It's very old. But you, you get that so you can punch these out and then you got other various things. So I'm thinking if I just do that and that, and that can go inside. So I need my ink again. And I just want to pop inside at the corner, right on the corner like that. There we go. And then if I take this off, And I just get the little handle. Now I've obviously done some masking because I've got some masking pieces in here. So I must have done some masking at some point. Right, so just get that inked up. And then we can just pop that just on there. And that's just nice, that's just in keeping with the card. And I could put a little bit of a sentiment, I'm not sure if I will yet. Perhaps I'll put no matter the weather, we're friends forever, because that is, it doesn't really matter what weather it kind of is if we do that. So let's just put that inside. As well. So I'll just do that in black. We'll just make sure that's going to be in the center roughly. There we go. That's really nice. I might use one of the other sentiments for the front of the card. I'll just see. Pop that to the side just now anyway. So Pop the ink on because I don't want to get that everywhere. And then I'm just going to pop this inside the card before I forget. I mean, I could um, do some um, colouring with that as well. So if we just colour that quickly as well. It's just always nice to have... I always think it's nice to have a wee something inside your card, not just a sentiment, uh, just nice to have something stamped inside, just, just, just nice, just different and nice, so just going in with that um, bronze green colour, and then it will darken it with the, it will give it a darker one. I don't know if this is a darker one. Um, 
do the olive green which was the darker one wasn't it just go in over that blend these colors together and if i'm too far up i'll come down slightly i don't want you to not be able to see what i'm doing i know you can zoom in but Gentle at these edges. There we go. So that's the insert. And then I've just got this wee tape pen, which I tend to use on the insides of my cards. Um, and I'll just put a little bit of at the top and a wee halfway down. I just think it looks a bit lot more professional. If it's not completely stuck down, it's just kind of a bit more loose. Just pop that in there. And then that's the insert done. So, what I need to do next, before I put my decide what capers I'm going to use, I'm going to pop these together. So, we'll get back to the glue. these top ones so we need to glue this one to the bottom one so what we could actually do is just put some glue in the bottom one um, oh, should have done that hold it <laughs> not very good with my left hand <laughs> so drink I'm right handed and then that piece can just go on the top of there. Which we'll put some of this. That's it. And then we can add our other piece. Now I'm only going to glue these sides and the bottom. I'm going to leave the middle because I want to tuck some of the, probably want to tuck some of the leaves in behind. Get that lined up. I will have to go down the edge, I think, with the pen. That's fine. That's one of them done. And then the same for this one. So we will just pop some glue onto here. I'm doing it the other way around now. <laughs> Better and then this one onto here. So again, leaving the middle kind of the top as well, leave it because um, I might want to just stick something in behind there. So straight on top. This is a bit much glue there this time. Um, there I should we'll see right just let's wipe this a bit so I'm going to go around that with this yellow pen just because I want to cover up the yeah some of the color that's on this bit here so we don't see any white and then probably a wee bit here as well. Let's just that's fine. And then I'll do the same with the um, this one. I think it was a wee bit. I can't remember. Hopefully it was this one. <laughs> it's not quite as bad though. hides all the white areas there we go so let's see 
So I want to actually just pop. Mm, no, won't do that. So I need to decide which part I'm going to have. So am I going to have this one with umbrellas on it? Let me see. Just do a wee um, make a decision here. So I was going to do something like that. Or one going one way and one going the other way. Like this. And then I did think about putting a bit of red in it. So I could do. So let's just, let's just rip this a wee bit. Because I want it to look a bit ripped. Oh, rip that red bit. Okay. Just down here in the middle. Let me see, how's that going to look? Just put these back on again for a second. Obviously it's going to have all these nice leaves on it as well. Um, come on, my nails is not picking them up. No, it's not so good. Just let me see what it looks like. And if I think, no, I don't want that red bit, I won't have it. Um, I need this piece here as well I think to put on these other pieces so let's see red brown again a browny one in between mm. yeah I think it does break it up I think we do need something oh no not my there's Right, let's just go for it. So let's pop this down. Or, I'm saying let's go for it. But, or, could we do it like that? That's quite nice too, isn't it? Let's go for that. Right, first of all, I've got a little bit of colour I want to just put on these white edges. So this was just some colour. It must be one of the inks I used for my last project. Probably the Autumn Craft Challenge um, that's on the brush. I don't want to put anything else on. And that just takes that quite away. So I'm going to just go for this other side instead of the one I thought I wanted. It's always hard to choose. So this is a nice kind of um, herringbone type pattern. That and then so we can either have it that way or the other side. <laughs> the, let's just have it in the middle. So just pop that into the middle there. Like that. That's a bit squinty. There we go. Right, now what I want to do is pop this up onto foam tape. So I will just get my so I'll just put that down a bit and then another smaller bit back like that. Same for this one. Oh, hurt my back yesterday and it's quite quite sore. So, right, and then we need to pop these on, but I can pop these on with glue. So I'm going to take, oh, that's slightly gone over, let's just chop that away. We need to just pop these on in their place now. Now they're decided here. So I think I'm going to pop that one up here, a slight jaunty ankle. And this one is going to go to the left hand side, a jaunty ankle too. Like that. 
There we go. And now I want to put in my my um, handles. So let's just put a little glue onto them. And just slide them in the back there. There we go. I want glue on my stuff though. So that's one. That looks like pretty. And then we want to have this one on as well, on the other one. So it just kind of slides in underneath. That's it. There we go. And now I need to put my leaves on. So I'm going to pick these up, just hoping that they'll stick on with this glue. So I'm going to put a couple of wee bits. And uh, let's hope. So we'll put that one on there. Right, I'm just going to stick like that, is it? So we'll need to just turn it. Maybe the red isn't good on red. Let's turn that round and put the brown one on. That should work. Yep. Then we can put the red one here. And let's get one of the orangey coloured ones. Oh, um, on here. Should work. And we've got a gold one. Should we put here? I just think they look so pretty. Like that. Just oh, I have to hold them down for a bit till they grab. Oh, that one's come off. Because my fingers are sticky as well. Um, let's do another red one here. Let me just put on both bits there. Oh. And there I'll get a block. I can just lay on top of them just now. And then we'll go to this this one at the bottom. So we'll put some there, some there, and then we'll see where we go from there. So let's put that one just under there because it's on the red. You don't want to put red on red because it's not going to show up, is it? Um, let's just put that one there. Um, we've got this red one put here as well. So I can just put this sit on top here and then this orange no gold one. If I can get it. Come on. Doesn't want to play. <laughs> this goldy one I can just kind of go over like that. They will stick eventually, I'm sure. Um, and then I wanted to just put a couple, just kind of cascading down. So let's put, if I bring them back, you might be able to see them. <laughs> so let's just get another kind of orange one there. And there's a bronze one here, which I'd quite like there. They will eventually stick, it's just because they're not quite grabbed yet. So there's another one there. And let's get another one, a bronze one. That's, I like these bronze ones, they're nice. Oh. And um, another golden one. there and I'll just pop this onto here and then I'm going to do another couple I'm going to put them up over so there's how many four left let's just do three um, so let's pop this one up here like that and this one here And that one can just go over. 
and then I'm going to do a sentiment at that side. I know I've got one left, but I don't. I'll just keep that one. So, what do you think, folks? Do you think that's okay? I think it's quite nice. So, I will do the sentiment from here, but I'm not going to use. Um, let me see. Let's put it's your day. If it's in here, could have lost it, you know. Because this day, this is so old, is that it there? It's your day. No. Showered with love. I don't see it's your day. What does this say? Hello, sunshine. No, I maybe have. Oh no, here we go. It's hiding down there. So I'll just get a small block and I'll just um, maybe I can add this somewhere else, like there or like this. We'll see. Don't want to leave one out. So anyway, let's get this. And let's just, I'm going to just stamp, I think, on, straight onto the card. It's your day. So I think I'm just going to pop it up here. There we go. And that is my card. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please let me know if you thought this was a nice card. I recycled the leaves that I received. Um, and don't forget to share, um, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's always nice to get new people on board. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.